The space here is amazing, the house is amazing. I think it's going very, very well. We've been participating in ERL since the beginning, so I think we're a bit more experienced and um, we are happy with our performance. It's how we expected it to be. In the lab where, where I'm based, which is the Bristol Robotics Lab in the UK, uh, it's quite a what we call a sterile environment. So, um, you know, quite clinical, things are organised, there isn't a lot of clutter. But when you come to an environment like this where it's more representative of a real home, uh, there's quite a lot to learn about uh, uncertainty, things not being quite where you expect them to be, uh, things, um, yeah, it being, it's more of a realistic environment really. And that's what's been so valuable about the competition, that we can come here and test it in a, a realistic environment. I think it's practical, so this is not just scientific stuff, but uh, robots are put in real environments, real houses, and have to be there to solve actual tasks. And yeah, that's, that's quite a problem because the robot needs to be robust, needs to interact with humans, needs to recognize objects, so there's a huge environment of tasks that needs to be solved. I'm impressed by the progress we made uh, in just one month with Thiago. So we received it one month ago and are already able to grip object to navigate properly. Yeah, and I think we can achieve much more in the future. Uh, essentially, the problem with robotics up to now is that all the fields have been studied separately. So you have computer vision people, natural language processing, and uh, all these kind of challenges um, force us to um, focus our developments on integration. So you're bridging all the gaps that are classically missing in robotics. I think that it is an amazing experience because in my case I'm a computer engineering student and normally I don't work with this kind of stuff. You don't use any kind of robot in the degree. And I think that it's a good experience to see uh, different ways in which uh, you can use uh, the things that are you learning in the university. I think that if anyone has the opportunity to participate in this kind of event, uh, I think that he or she must do it.